action. In America, don't nobody own nobody. Uh, everybody's a free person. The Emancipation Proclamation ended slavery for everybody in America. That was 1863. So why does it still feel like as a black person, we only occupy the democratic plantation? I mean, can we be captured mentally? Politics is simply negotiating resources. And if you tell the Democratic Party, I'm going to vote for you, then there's no longer a negotiation. I'm not negotiating anything. So that means that the Democratic Party can run down the street and they can negotiate with everybody else and say, hey, we can get you some tangible essential resources as long as you vote for us. But as long as black folks continue to vote for the Democratic Party, then we ain't got no negotiating. We ain't got a leg to stand on. I mean, white folks don't belong to Republican Party. They vote Republican and they vote Democrat. Mexican folks, they vote, they vote Republican and they vote Democrat. But when it comes to black folks, oh my goodness, I have to live on a Democratic plantation because we still got some type of slave ideology that tells me the Democratic Party owns me. For what reason? I don't care about political party because if we're going to be honest, there is no political party in America that represents broke people. What? Oh, you're not broke. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. There is no political party in America that represents working class people. If you clock in every day, there is no political party that represents your economic best interests. It doesn't exist. It's, it's not the Democratic Party. It's not the Republican Party. Both of those parties, they're only existing to get more power. It's like a monopoly and they control all of America and they're fighting for the little corners and sectors of people to come vote. They're trying to find the outliers. And I'm saying the most powerful people in America are working class people, more specifically working class men, because we invest in the society with our lives. And so if you don't have policies that help the American family, that help the American worker, then you're not for the American people. And this is a fact. I don't give a, I don't care if you call yourself a Democrat or Republican. I don't want to talk about a political party. I only want to talk about policy. I only want to talk about essential, tangible goods for the American people. But we should not be competing. We should be advancing the quality of life for our citizens. We should be advancing the quality of life for the greatest American alive, the most powerful citizen that's ever existed in the whole history of the world, the freest person to ever be here. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.